What's up, folks? I'm having a great day. Really. So I got to talk to a potential first client for our, for my van build company. Still a possibility to have our first customer. Customer. Um, so that's what started my day off. That and uh, a shower. Won't have too many showers in my future for a while, I think. I'll be on the road. So that was good, right? It's potentially we could, I even asked her about uh, if she finds a van, she's looking for a van, if she finds a van, if I can take it to Missouri, get it worked on and bring it back to her. She's like, yes. So that's cool. Uh, I'm not going to eat these. I want to eat some cashews right now, but I'm not going to eat them. Oh, I'm trying to talk to you. So that was cool. And uh, I get to the coffee shop. I get my computer open up. And uh, I'm getting text messages right now. I open my computer. There's an email. The subject line says, your good man article. It's a good man project, but your good man article. Loved it. And I knew right away, I was like, oh, this is going to make my day. When I open this email, it's going to make my day. And it did. I have cashews on my teeth and stuff. It was a woman saying that she read my article. And it made her aware of the patterns in her own relationships, right? In her own relationships. So if you go to good, goodmanproject.com, uh, you'll find my article there somewhere. It's called The Difference Between Good Sex and a Good Relationship. Uh, I can't put a link in it in YouTube, but I can put a link to the original article, which is posted on my website. It's the same thing. They just picked it up. So I'll put a link there. But she told me, okay, my goal as I'm getting better as a coach, as I'm learning more, uh, how I can help people, it's by one, providing them facts. It's by two, sharing my life experience. And it's by three, asking them questions. As I try to do this, I, as I learn this, I try to apply it and see if it actually helps people. <clears throat> so what the article was, was two of those three, right? It was me sharing my experiences and, uh, presenting information facts who knows who knows if they're facts but information and that article gave her insight to her own relationships and brought awareness right it was a breakthrough and uh, that's what I'm trying to do man that's what I'm trying to do so it was great it was great to 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 somebody to reach out to me send me an email say I love your article that's the cool part the other cool part is that my goal in helping people like bring things out bring things to light um, is coming true like it's working so mm, mm, mm. then while I'm working and writing some stuff and sending emails I get another email about a radio show I think it's more of a podcast. So they're trying to get away from calling podcast podcast because they podcast reference to iPod, which the iPod is almost irrelevant now. Right? But um, somebody asked me about uh, this person does a basically a marriage and relationship um, podcast or radio show, internet show. And asked me if I wanted to be on it. And I said, of course I want to be on it. So that'll be cool. I mean, I've been on podcasts before, so maybe it's not that big of a deal, but you know. So there's another good thing. There was some bad news. Not my bad news, but I feel I feel uh, the pain that that news brought. 
but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, the other thing is, is I, I miss taking pictures. Somebody mentioned to me not too long ago, she says, you know, I haven't been, I haven't seen any pictures lately. This person follows me on Instagram and on, uh, Facebook. We're Facebook friends. Like, we're friends. Been friends forever. And she said that. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I post pictures almost every day. Multiple pictures, probably. And some of them are... Like, today I posted a screenshot. But some of them are good pictures. Some of them I take with my camera, and um, I only do three edits. Like three edits is my max. So I still, so I post pictures all the time. But she says, how come you haven't been posting any pictures? I haven't seen any pictures. I'm like, what are you talking about? I post pictures all the time. They're on Instagram. She's like, oh. What she's, she's like, I haven't seen any artsy ones. Artsy ones. That, that, that stings a little bit because she's right. Like, and the only artsy ones I get to take are, uh, or the other pictures I've been taking are like landscape and of numbness. And, uh, that's it. Like, I like taking pictures of Rusty, but I want to take pictures of people. Part of the reason why I haven't, you haven't seen any artsy pictures from me. Ooh, that was close intersection over here is I don't have I'm not dating anyone I don't have a girlfriend those artsy pictures always come from somebody I'm dating uh, and they're like they're black and white of course and they used to be with film but I, I can duplicate almost duplicate what I did on film with my digital camera now but um, I really want to take some pictures. Like, that's the aspect of my life that's missing. One of them, anyways. So I want to take some pictures. I also want pictures from my website, for my novel. Uh, I have a picture of me, and every time I post a link, it shows a picture of me with holding a piece of bacon, which, uh, which I took. Um, but I actually want to get... A series of pictures on this website that involve that have the theme of my novel, right? So I need a the minimum I need is a brunette. It can't be blonde. It can be a couple. That you know, because the story is, is is of two people. Um, but I need a brunette, and then the vision I have for like the cover page or the top the 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 title page or the cover page whether it's the website or whatever I have in mind um, a woman standing in the laundry room right the camera is down and uh, you see her feet you see a washing machine you see like the linoleum or tile floor and then you see um, blood soaks clothes right I already got a recipe on how to make blood. Anyways, I need that. So I need a, uh, I need a girl with uh, cute feet in a laundry room. You know how hard it is to approach somebody and say, hey, can I take pictures of your feet? And do you have a laundry room? And if I make this corn syrup blood, will it stain the linoleum? Because you got to put red food coloring, or food coloring in it, red dye. <gasps> food coloring, not dye. I will dye it. Anyways, where are we at? Five minutes. It's going to be a bitch to upload. So, I'm going to leave, I'm, I'm going to end it here because it's going to, I could go on about other topics and stuff. But yeah. Mm. Custom built van project companies. It's almost almost taken off like what the bleep is stopping me nothing stopping me i really want to do this the guys that work for me want to do this they want to do this pivot so 
We gotta make it happen. We gotta make it happen. If we get as soon as we get a paid gig, I think we're gonna take off. <whistles> off. Off. So van conversions, emails in my inbox thanking me for my writing, radio shows, offers, and um, I'm a photographer. I forgot I'm a photographer. I need to take my pictures. All right. That's it, folks. I'll see you later.